So, here we are on the rigid battlefield known as the Arid Cliffs. The Grand Army marches unopposed. No one dares faces this powerful force, except, you know, not including Winter. Until today, a coalition of armies from Great Britain, Prussia, and Ikea fight united to bring down the French Empire. Oh yes, this battlefield will witness many deaths. Heroes will be born here. Villains will be created. There will be many acts of bravery, but many more acts of cowardice. Welcome back to another Napoleon Toto War Battle. Alright, what's up guys? It's Apollo here and welcome back to another Napoleon Total War battle. This of course is a online battle. It is a 4v4. Like I said in the intro, we got a coalition of British, Prussian, and a Swedish forces. Uh, on the other side, we have four French armies representing the Grand Army. Uh, so this is going to absolutely be a battle of terrain. And you can see that the Prussians are already moving up all of their cav force and their general to get a better view of the battlefield. Uh, so that's always a great tactic to just rush forward with your cav. Obviously, cav being the fastest unit on the battlefield. Uh, they can get up there quickly. And if the French happen to rush up lights, sometimes people rush light units up there because they have really great range. And they want to use the terrain to like give them even more of a range. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that's why it's, it, it can be useful to send up cav because you can charge right into lights. But it seems like the French are kind of taking a slower approach. Uh, to taking this hill. This French army though on the other hand is actually making great uh like covering great ground he's getting pretty high up here on this uh this hill uh the the british though are making a pretty aggressive push uh with their troops who are running forward and um you know trying to take the hill they've got their horse artillery setting up over here as well uh and they're going to be able to put down some suppressing fire uh no shots yet no firing yet, which is actually quite surprising, as a lot of these Napoleon maps have these, like, great terrain, like, center points. I think they designed them like that on purpose to try to make fights, you know, be very aggressive. Because oftentimes players are very defensive in Napoleon Total War. And here we go, we got our first shot there. We got some Chasseurs. Uh, they are opening fire upon the 10th Hussars. Let's see if the 10th Hussars will go in for a charge. Oh, they are dropping numbers, but they are going to go in for a charge. It's Sh Sasher. Sash, excuse me. Sasher. Oh my god, I can't even say it. They are retreating. The lights are retreating. Chasseur are retreating, and we have even uh, the rest of the 10th Hussar still pushing forward. Still try. Oh, look at the cannonballs, man. Uh, they're going to push forward and try to reach the Chasseur, but they just barely get there. And the men are running from the battlefield. And that was a costly charge. Well defended from the, um, the, the French. So, very nice. But the British have set up a nice line here. Now the French are going to give them a taste of their own medicine. And probably have the same result here of charging these Lancers right into the rifles here. Into the lights. Again, it does not pay off. And it's just a mirror cab charge where nothing really worked there. And now we have some uh, Chasseurs getting really, really close to the British lines. Look at this. My God. So they're getting extremely close. And I don't know if this is just Miss Micro, but they are going to feel the wrath of some line infantry who are going to take them out. They're actually charging into melee, these madmen. I don't know if they're using this as a sacrificial unit to try to take out the horse artillery. It could be the case, but nobody is supporting those lights. I want to know the general's name who's doing... Oh, wait, there's a cap charge. Okay, so they do have some Lancers supporting them, but, like, jeez, look how epic this battlefield is. I love Napoleon. I'm so sorry for not uploading Napoleon sooner. I've, it's just... Sometimes you got to take a break from games, and it's absolutely worth it when you come back and you realize, wow, this is a great game. I love this. Uh, back over here, shots are opening fire. Things are pretty intense, and this is an epic battle so far. Those howitzers, man. 
So I think the rules to this battle was uh, max two artillery, if I'm not mistaken. But the British were able to fight off that French charge, but were they able to save the artillery? I don't think so. I think the French actually took out the artillery, and that's going to be a huge victory for the Grand Army. Now over here, the Prussians have set up a nice defense. The French are completely bottlenecked here. They're completely uh, cut off from this hill. Uh, they do have some tree for cover, but it seems like the only way up is this small path, and the Prussians are absolutely holding it off and preventing this huge force from being able to take this hill. Now the French over on this side seem to be going for a flanking maneuver. Uh, they're using their numbers, they're using their troops. They've got some fusiliers of the line, or of line, uh, that are pushing up and now putting pressure on the Swedish uh, flank. Uh, and this is actually, if they can push here, this would be a great victory uh, because they're gonna be able to wrap behind these forces. Now he also has his artillery set up over here. This is a good spot for the artillery. This is the artillery à cheval. Um, so, yes, I speak French. No, not really. Uh, but they're opening fire, and um, I think they're most likely going after the Swedish cannons uh, that have, again, these guys have great positioning as well. He's got some Jaeger over here on the, uh, on the uh, cliff of this hill, and of course the 12-pounder foot artillery who are going to be able to really shell the French as they continue to approach this area. Uh, but yeah, I think they're going to keep sweeping around because obviously you don't want to attack this like D-Day cliff here. They're going to keep sweeping around and trying to, um, again, stretch out the Swedish and hopefully break through to support his ally who's completely cut off here. In the fr oh my god, look at the carnage going on here. I mean, imagine being a soldier in this battle. Just absolute chaos. Uh, it'd be like, oh wait, wait, we have to charge? We have to charge through this? Oh boy, okay. So he's got some National Guard moving up, uh, but they are way out of position. The British are able to form up here and put down some great firepower on the National Guard. They are going in for a charge. I think they're going after this flanking unit, the Foot Guards. National Guard honestly stand no chance against the Foot Guard. And we got more and more French forces. This is the Old Guard though. The old guard getting dangerously close. Look at that. They go in for a shot and they charge in. That was pretty awesome. Job. Job. And now we have a cab charge coming down from the light dragoons, trying to support their line infantry against this old guard charge. Artillery is shelling. I believe that's the French artillery firing so close to their old guard. But you know. These old guard are practically deaf, probably, after so many battles. The British are able to push away the National Guard, but the French have more units where that came from. He's now sending up the Young Guard. Hopefully this Young Guard can, be, can become Old Guard today. And they don't die here on the battlefield. There they go, they're pushing up. And the French are being super aggressive with their bayonets, which, um... Which is no surprise, as the French did invent the bayonet. Now we got some Grenadier Cheval. They're going after some uh, pretty elite units here. Coldstream Guard, who are in uh, square formation. He probably wants to disengage here, as that is a losing battle with that Cav unit. Very good job by the British forming square. Uh, this looks like a losing battle for the British overall, though. Look at how many French are here. Nothing defending over here. We have tons of French units that are way back here. They probably need to march forward and get more troops up on this ridge line. Over here, though, the British are holding so well and killing so many French at this point. Let's head back over to over here where the French have given up. Uh, they have given up here, and they're going to wait probably for their allies to kind of help push through. Uh, this way. Oh, big cab charge. Sweden going in with, um, or I'm sorry, against uh, the French cab. It looks like there's more Swedish cab. They might be able to defeat this French cab, which would be a huge victory for them, as that will give them free range to run around and uh, get some hammer and anvil on the backs of this line infantry. Ooh, this is some fierce fighting over here. This is just every... Every inch of land is being fought for. It's just really intense, really fun to watch. But we got more Chasseurs pushing up, and they are being supported by Young Guard and uh, Polish Legion. Uh, so they are um, 
definitely making some progress here, but a very wise decision from Sweden to kind of sit back a little bit, use the hill, and fire down upon um, the French army. So the cab battle still going on. Again, it looks like this is going to be a, a Swedish victory. And again, that might be a big problem for the French later on. Uh, we also have the Swedish general over here who's kind of keeping the men's morale high and just waiting for the opportunity to flank. The French are going for a full-on charge up this hill. And this is going to be really tough for them because obviously Sweden has the luxury of being able to sit back and use the hill and fire down at the advancing troops. France has to advance, then set up and fire. Uh, let's see, though, if they can just use the expertise of these troops. I mean, he's got Young Guard, Polish Legion, really good units. Swiss Foot, very, very good units here. They're going to be able to chip away at the Swedish lines. But let's see if they are able to do so. Uh, let's, hold back. let's go back over here where um, the French, oh my god, look at the carnage here, look at all the death, I love going to this part of the battlefield, there's smoke and just artillery fire everywhere, troops dying, troops charging, troops holding, epic, epic fight here. Woo! Some good artillery hits on the British lines. The French need to quickly advance here. They need to quickly take this hill because I don't think they're allied. The French, this French army is running out of troops. Uh, in pro oh my god, a huge charge from Prussia. Going downhill. He's got his Uhlans. Look at this. Going after the French general. And the French general has been killed. Wiped out by an a surprise charge by the Prussians. Why did he leave his general out in the open like that? Now the French army will surely break as they have lost their leadership. But they need to, to, to basically regroup. They should honestly, I mean, probably stop pushing right here. Uh, maybe get his ally to send some troops over to help him. Uh, but this is going to be, uh, like, all the weight is on the sh on the shoulders of this French player right here. If he can break through the Swedish lines, he could save this battle for the French, as this has been a very shaky start for the French alliance here. The Grand Army, as they are uh, just taking on uh, forces that have just better positioning. And because of it, they have suffered many casualties. Oh, whoa, 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 what's... Are you kidding me? Did the French win? Oh my god, the French Cav? Came out on, on top and now harassing the general staff of Sweden. That could have been really beneficial if he took out the general. But unfortunately, the general is going to be able to escape there. And um, the fight will continue on here. We have some British troops running over on this side. Again, this is also a very promising flank for the French. They've got to quickly take this hill. And look at the British. They are just going down this hill with a ca with a, without a care in the world. Pushing up their lines. And they're probably going to... They might just be able to push the French completely back off the hill. They've got to be careful, though. They've got to be really careful. Because um, uh, they don't want to get too confident in the French rally and just wipe out a bunch of British forces. But I love the aggressiveness of the British uh, lines here. I mean, the French have a nice solid line right here. So yeah, they, they need to be careful. But again, by taking this hill, uh, the, fr or the I'm sorry, the British will be able to um, use the high ground against the French. And the Prussians are now moving over lights. Look at this. They got the Silesian Schutzen uh, coming over this way to support... Uh, the brush, uh, the uh, the British lines over there against the French. Can they actually hit the French from here? Wow! Look at the range on these guys. Going after the 18th Regiment Infantry of the Line, the Brave. Uh, definitely brave taking skirmisher shots from that distance. They've got to fall back. Uh, let's go back over here where we are getting a little bit of a charge from the Polish Legion going after some artillery. 
and Sweden might just lose this hill if France, I mean, just keep charging down the line. There he goes. And this might be the momentum that the French need to come back into this battle. They definitely needed a victory somewhere, and it seems like they are getting their victory. Now we've got Swiss Split, who are potentially... Wait, where are they going? Oh, they're trying to kill the artillery group, but now they're moving up forward. Another unit going into melee. Oof. What a struggle. Sweden still has a lot of healthy lines, though, but they've got to deal with this. They have sent up some reinforcements, some line infantry to fire down upon the Polish Legion. Uh, he does have some line infantry coming over this way, and he still has an artillery piece. Uh, so this is still not over for Sweden. They can easily turn this around, but the rest of the French army is pushing up and trying to get dangerously close to the Swedish lines. This is risky. A lot of the French lines are very depleted, very tired. Um, well, it says fresh, but what I mean by tired is that they've been fighting for a while, uh, and they've got to be careful not to lose too many troops here. They've got a great push. They've got to quickly... These, I mean, this line infantry, I'm really surprised that they have not broken yet. But yeah, let's go back over this way really quick. Let's just make sure we're not missing anything going on here. The British have reorganized their lines. There seems to be a bit of a stalemate between the, uh, the British and the French here where both sides have kind of backed up. Uh, even the even the French over here backed up, but the British are pushing in, which is what I would do too. Hey, you don't want the hill? I'll take the hill. And then I'll keep keep attacking you, because I've got the high ground. The artillery too, where's that artillery? Really good positioning of the artillery, because they're getting this like perfect angle where it's just flying over the hill and then hitting the, um, the French troops. They are now falling back. Uh, but the British are regrouping their lines. Uh, the Prussians are now actually... See, the Prussian is being... The Prussian forces are being actually pretty good support units. Okay, hold on. Look at this. The French must have sent up units up this way. They're now attacking the back of this uh, Jaeger unit. Holy crap. But, oh, unfortunately, Sweden has taken control of this ridge line. It looks like they did defeat the line infantry here. But, unfortunately, a lot of the French lines are starting to crumble. Uh, we've got some cav units from um, Prussia and some mounted Jaegers who are just harassing the French here. And I think Sweden might be able to hold. It just depends on this right here. Depends on these three units. we got Polish Legion, Guard Seaman, and Swiss Foot about to just open fire upon these troops. Let's see what they can do here. Come on. You've got to kill him quickly, boys. And Prussia's coming. Prussia's only being uh, held back by some chasseur. <laughs> oh my god, could I say it any more weird? Chasseur. Uh, and they're doing the best they can, but it, honestly, if I was Prussia, I would just charge in. Get this over with. Kill these guys and support my Swedish ally. Oof. Some really good artillery hits. That's honestly, I think, what the French are going to be relying on is the artillery, relying on the the um, the coalition forces to get too aggressive and start attacking. But we're actually seeing some French forces being uh, pushed up into combat. So maybe the French might rally here and retake this hill. Uh, a lot of French forces over here as well, reforming. And uh, they've just completely given up over on this flank. And over here, now we, oh, we had a little bit of a charge. Sweden went in for a charge. And they're doing very well. He's got his lifeguards afoot. Who are just slaughtering these French troops. And, yeah. Sure enough, the Prussians have closed in. Firing at the backs of the French. And the French here, most likely, are going to be defeated as uh, the Prussians are running amok. Sweden is running around with Cav. They've got a couple units forming square, preparing their final last stand for the French Empire. We also have some French artillery just trying to get lucky and firing at uh, some Cav running by. Um, not, not the good kind of getting lucky, if you get what I'm saying. 
Um, but yeah, they, they are in troubling times, and they just basically are going to kill as many as they can at this point. But it's looking really good for the Coalition. But again, this battle is far from over, guys. The French still have a ton of forces. Uh, the French army that was kind of... Oh, another general has fallen. Oh, but it's this French general. He's pretty much lost his army anyways. Not a big deal. Oh, rest in peace. Look at him. He's still looking around. What is he doing? Look at... Did you see him looking around? He's like, they think I'm dead. I will pretend to be dead. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's it's not looking good for the French over there, but over here they still have a lot of troops um, It was wise for the French player to not just mindlessly charge up this hill and because of it He still has a very healthy army and about to engage very depleted British armies And look he's even charging in with the chasseur What a madman I assume they're out of ammo they're just trying to silence the foot there a little bit. The British still have some reserves back here as well. He's got like one, two, three, four units, uh, not including the artillery. So they still have a decent amount of forces, uh, but the French are making a bold push, a very bold push. Uh, to take out a very thin, depleted unit, a couple units of British troops. I think they could easily bring down these troops. They just gotta be smart about it. I Maybe even see a bayonet charge. Because they have the high ground, you definitely want don't want to sit back and let them use that high ground. Um, again, it just depends. I think, I think both options are good, right? Being able to sit back and firing or just charging in. I would use a couple, like, I would use a couple meat shield units. There we go, the Chasseur opening fire. They are in uh, a tighter formation here. Got another Chasseur about to open fire. Come on, fire, boys. Bah! So, they might be going in for a charge. We got two healthy units of old guard coming up. And, the, yeah, the British know that they're in trouble right now. They know that they probably have to reform, maybe get some uh, Prussian allies over there. The French are actually falling back over here. Again, that's not terrible. It's not a terrible idea to fall back, even though he doesn't really have an army. Instead of just, like, fighting to the last man, the reason it's not a bad idea because they have to worry about these units now. Instead of killing these guys off and then, hey, our flank is secure, we can focus all over here. They now have to worry about these three units, uh, which could potentially rack up a lot of kills if they're not paying attention. So the French, excuse me, sorry guys. The French are completely clearing off this hill. They are now rushing forward their troops, getting bombarded by artillery, but they march on uh, to try to get that hill advantage and get an even battlefield. Very close battle indeed. The Prussians are now kind of leaving the hill. Look at this. They're going to try to wrap around. we got some musketeers pushing up. And they're going to try to uh, face some of the uh, the French who are harassing the lights over here. Actually causing a lot of morale drop here. Oh, look at this. The old guard. The old guard are sprinting forward trying to catch the uh, Silesian Schutzen by surprise. It is risky though, because their flank is going to be open to musket fire and artillery fire. But what is Prussia doing? Why are they not moving these men out of here? Oh my god, they're going to line up and shoot at them? Are you kidding me? Just charge in and give them the cold steel. Here we go. Fire. Here goes the other one about the fire. Yeah, there's really no point in just sitting back and firing. I would just charge them. Just charge them. You could break them instantly. And now the French have finally, for the first time ever in this battle, have taken the high point of the battlefield. And now it's a bit more even of a fight. Uh, as the, the British, though, what formation is? He needs to quickly reform his men. And another interesting thing is that they are kind of surrounded, the French. Because the British troops still have men over here, uh, they are going to get fired from the back here by some foot guard. Um, but it's it's not too bad. Here comes a charge from the Chasseur. The Chasseur have been crazy today. 
And finally, oh wait, a cap charge. Cap charge going in. Trying to support his lights. The Prussians are now going around the flank. The French need to reform here quickly. Try to face these guys. Um, Ikea over here. Sweden, I'm only joking. Pushing up their men, trying to support their allies. But they're taking their time, which is smart. You don't want to run them. Uh, or, or, or you can run them. I mean, <laughs> whatever, whatever you want to do. Uh, but they're trying to quickly get them over to the other side of the fight. Trying to support them uh, as this uh, battle continues on here. Oh my god, a general is going in for a charge! The general staff! What in tarnation? Why is he going in for a charge? His army's still intact. He still has an army. Why throw away your life like this? Your troops need leadership. Amazingly, he's not dead. Wow. Oh, I can, imag uh, I can imagine any minute now he will uh, we'll get a notification about the general falling. And the old guard, the old guard are behind enemy lines, fighting a unit that looks very similar to them. It's the 8th Life Regiment. Just look for the hats. We got another cab unit coming in. No, it looks like the artillery crew. Yeah, here we go. Here goes the general of Prussia charging in, trying to stop the old guard. Some great volleys there. The French are now pushing forward. Now that they've complete, like completely caused so much chaos, they're gonna push forward. And now Sweden is quickly trying to uh, get over there to support their allies as well. Sweden still has a very healthy army, relatively speaking. We have a small fight going on with some French uh, old guard against the foot guards. Trying to take this hill, which will be a critical, uh, critical point for the French as they will secure the flank. A little bit of a cab charge to happen over here, but well protected by the uh, the British. Maybe they took out some artillery. Looks like they did. So maybe it wasn't that well protected. And here we go, look at this, a tree, a fight in the trees here. Vegetation that's causing some, it's definitely gonna cause uh, some confusion as it's harder to see through it, obviously. Swiss foot about to open fire upon the 8th Light Regiment who defeated the old guard. Must be feeling pretty pretty good right now. Let's see if they can fire. Here we go. Oh, good hits. Good hits. Could have been better. Could have been better. Alright, so France is now what's left of this army pushing up a couple troops. Uh, they've got their artillery now that are going to be able to shell the enemy position. Again, this is pretty big. And Did the British general ever die? The British general who charged in? Or did I just miss it? To the standard! Rifles charging in. We've seen a lot of lights just charging in. I assume they just used up all their ammo. Chasseur going into the front. Going into skirmish mode. Ready to fire down. This is a really close battle, guys. This is getting extremely close. Oh my god! We've got a militia charge that was held off by some canister, canister shot by the French artillery. The old guard opening fire. It looks like the old guard might actually be able to take this hill. The British are running out of troops and... The old guard is a tough unit to stop, especially when you have to take on two of them. One having 155, the other one having 80 in the unit. We've got another unit coming up, guard seamen pushing forward. Artillery still just shelling this British uh, force. And yeah, it looks like the French are going to take that flank. And oh my god, Sweden going in with a charge with some line infantry. The Polish legion forms square so they can fight on multiple flanks. And now we got another Polish legion, we're about to fire almost point blank at the uh, the Swedish line. Man, Sweden going in. Now we have uh, some Highland foot pushing up as well. Play the bagpipes, let's go boys. Scotland the brave. Um, but yeah, there's a pretty, 
pretty tough battle for anyone facing the French here as it looks like they've got a solid position. They're outflanking everyone. But Sweden and uh, Prussia kind of reform their armies. The French are coming around the flank. Um, there's a cav unit over here. No, that's artillery. Six pounder horse artillery. Just kind of chilling. I don't know if they're glitched out or what. But this is such a bizarre ending. Like, this has just been fierce fighting from beginning to end. All right. France is going to take this. The British are trying to... Looks like the British over here are trying to regroup with their allies, potentially. But the French should just push hard. They should just go after them. And prevent them from being able to join. Uh, but they're also going to have some forces that are going to join the French here. So, um... I still think it's slightly in the advantage of uh, the coalition forces. It seems like the French... I don't know if they have enough. It's hard to tell because they're all spread out. There goes a little bit of a cab charge. Unfortunately, going after the artillery. Seems like the coalition was like, all right, had enough of this artillery. I sent militia, they killed them. Now we got to send in the cab. I, I don't know why he didn't have his infantry closer by that artillery. I think that was a big mistake there by the French because having that artillery piece just firing at the backs of these men would be amazing. Look, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Like, deuces, I'm out of here. Like I said, many acts of cowardice. Uh, but yeah, um, they lose the artillery. And they push up their men. And uh, we do have some lights trying to hold the, the rear of this army. But um, they're probably going to have to commit more. Here we go, the British are now falling back. Uh, they were harassing the back of these French lines. France is moving up some guard seamen, trying to move up some six inch howitzer, lots of artillery. What do we have over here? Some old guard reforming. So I don't quite know what the French are doing. Their troops are spread out everywhere. I think they're going after some artillery, potentially. I don't know if they're going to have a shot for this. So the troops are scattered. It's becoming a mess. And now it's going to really come down to Prussia and Sweden if they want to take this one. The French flank, uh, the very back rear guard over here. Like, this is really important. The French need to really time this well. Again, this is only two units. But if the other side starts pushing forward as well as this side, these two units could get a lot of kills. They could do a lot of damage. Oh, but look at this. The British are coming around the flank, and so are some line infantry. They're coming to flank around these troops. And look at, they're breaking some Jaegers. Get some musketeers over there. Come on, France, push up. I think he's really worried about this flank here where the British are getting chewed up now because they're getting shot at from two different angles. So relatively speaking, this battle has, qu has calmed down quite a lot. The artillery has been destroyed. Look at the carnage. Look at the absolute carnage of this battlefield. So much death. Now we have some cav. Oh, no. The French leave their artillery unprotected. I can't really blame him too much. He was assuming probably that nothing would really attack those units. But sure enough, Prussia is, has done a great job with this cav today. Uh, and they are going to push in and slaughter. Slaughter this artillery. And that's going to be a huge loss for the French army. So there you have it guys, he loses, uh, he loses two units of artillery, we do have one unit of guard seamen trying to support them, firing from the flank, let's see if they can break this cav, cav is, has been destroyed, but did they save, yes they saved one artillery piece, one artillery piece, that's a huge victory, I mean it could come down to that one artillery piece. Uh, the French forces over here that are attacking the rear have been destroyed, outflanked. Unfortunately, I, I, I really think the French over here could have done better. I think if he protected, like I said, protected his artillery, sat back and continued to harass them, he would have been fine. He would have done a lot of damage. But because he left his artillery unprotected, they took it out so quickly. Okay, so it, it seems finally... The flanks are all secured for both sides. 
The French have secured this over here. Uh, Sweden and Prussia have secured this area over here. So now we're going to see the final clash. The armies are set. They're ready to go. And this is going to be the final clash between these two forces. And we already have some lights opening fire here. We have some Voltigers, Chesser, opening up on these Jaeger. Jaegers. General moving up from the French. So, it's a little bit of a standoff here as both sides, understandably, understandably, uh, is that a word? Uh, do not attack each other as they are very exhausted. Ooh, some good shots right there into the Musketeers. We got the Brave just opening fire. Really taking out a lot of those Prussian uh, units. Got a lot of Prussian reserves back here. They gotta be careful. We might wanna, like, disperse these units because artillery could hit here and do a lot of damage kill a lot of soldiers so the French I think are outnumbered the balance of power is still even but oftentimes in Napoleon the balance of power is broken I don't know it just glitches out so it's really hard to tell who's got the advantage in this battle but just based on looking at it the French look like they're outnumbered well, they got more units coming up this way. Got more units here. And we've got artillery. Two units of artillery coming around the flank. It seems the French are waiting for the artillery. So what we're going to do here, guys, is just fast forward a little bit. And it seems like both sides are just kind of, you know, preparing their attack. Uh, preparing their forces. Looking at what the other side has. And trying to figure out what the best plan of action is going to be. Um, but I definitely think the French are just basically waiting to group up his troops. And I think what it's going to come down to is whoever has the, the heavier firepower. Whoever can do the most damage from a distance is going to, basically going to cause the other side to charge in. Uh, so yeah, they're still just bombarding each other. And the French artillery is trying to get in range. And there we go. They are in range. They're opening fire upon a huge unit of musketeers very good target to go after very very good target and um, oh, now they're falling back they're falling back from the French unbelievable and they've got two units of old guard here protecting the artillery he's not gonna make the same mistake twice unless it's a different player and he never made that mistake and the French are gonna hold this tree line against these forces so yeah um, still very slow very bom like very bombardy here it's really unfortunate that they gave the artillery... Uh oh we might have a, an attack here by Sweden. It's really unfortunate that um, there's unlimited ammo with the artillery. There we go. Uh, I really wish they didn't have that because it gets very campy at times because of the unlimited ammo. But, uh, you know, what can you do? So great shots opening here. And finally, yes, Sweden is pushing up and we're going to finally have our line battle. And the French are doing quite well. It's always a good situation when they have to come up to you. But do they have enough men to hold such a large force? Sweden reforming. Artillery still shelling this position. I Oh, wow. He retreated these musketeers very far away. Uh, it sounds like I heard a charge there for a second. But yeah, this is going to be a... I mean, it's like, it's so down to such few troops, guys. It's going to be so intense. And now look at this. They are pushing up. They're filling in the gaps. Great Britain filling in the gaps. They do risk some friendly fire here. Don't know why he's charging in front of some line infantry. The Highland Foot. Uh, they fill in the gap. The British opening fire as well. This Polish Legion is taking on multiple units. Completely outnumbered, but they stand on. They keep fighting. Fight! Hold the line. We've got this battle. Oh, we do have a charge over here. We got the Brave. They're definitely staying true to their name. Going in for a bayonet charge. And getting these line units by surprise. This could be huge, guys. This could be 
the turning point of the battle if they can break them quickly. Come on. Let's see what you can do. Is there any more units charging in? No. Prussia is now pushing up more reserves up. Oh, Sweden went in for a charge. But they are able to hold them back. They're routing from the battlefield. France has defeated the Swedish lines over here. And the Brave continue to push forward. But this might be their end. As they are getting shot down by multiple units. And yep, that's it. That's it from them. As they cannot, no, they can no longer push any further. The line battle is not going well for the coalition forces. France seems to really be holding on to this uh, territory and really just taking out all these line units, all these troops. They continue to bombard them. Prussia's gotta make a move with these units. He can't just let them sit back here. They got to push forward and attack somewhere. They need more line infantry up here. The French are just slowly chipping away at these troops. Look at that. The French are slaughtering these men. And it's getting worse and worse for the coalition forces. Now we have a general pushing up. He's going for a charge. Let's see if they're ready for it. Come on, form square. He does not form square. He gets a really good charge there. Some of the Swedish general. And now we have uh, some French lines pushing up. I assume they're out of ammo. They're going after a charge, trying to silence these musketeers. Oh no, the Swedish general, Alexander the All Right. <laughs> That's a great name. Uh, has been killed. His general has been killed on the battlefield. Now they lack leadership. And honestly, guys, it's coming down to just Prussia. It's just Prussia. Prussia's now finally mobilizing these units of musketeers. They need them in this fight. France should go ahead and move up their units as well, which they are. Got the general over here staying very far away, keeping him alive. Not a bad idea. Oh, this is going to be close, guys. I don't know. It, it's looking good for the French, right? But Prussia still has some very healthy units. And look, he's going in for a charge. The old guard. I don't know if it's because they're out of ammo or this is just a good opportunity for him to charge in. comes down to Prussia. They they should be able to defeat this foot unit. Oh my god, the foot actually break the chasseur. I guess it's not a big deal as they're just chasseur. Oh, break his neck. <laughs> they're down to 62 men against the 46 old guard. But they are old guard, and there goes a big break. I don't know if that was from the artillery, uh, the friendly artillery, or what. But the old guards stand victoriously. The units still—they're taking their time. They're going over to the uh, to this front line because the Prussians are setting up their troops to the front line. Boom! It's artillery, man. In some great hits. There goes another charge. Both these armies are just exhausted. Very, very exhausted. And the old guard continued to charge. I, I'm starting to think the French are out of ammo. I think they're running out of ammo and they have no other choice but to charge in. That should break the Prussian lights. These units still opening fire at these musketeers. They're down to 96 men. This unit over here still has 121. They lost a lot of men there. And let's see what this old guard does. They have two chevrons now. The Swiss are charging in. Come on. Ah, Swiss are defeated. Artillery are firing at each other. 
We've got two solid line infantry. We've got another line infantry here from Prussia. This is so close, guys. I don't know who's going to take it. Oh, my God. Now we have another line coming up this way. Guard seamen. Finally, they're coming over. Uh, they were the ones who were helping defend this artillery. Yeah, send everybody up. France has to send everybody up. I'm sure the troops are inspired by seeing uh, fresh men that are joining the front line. Oh, are these? okay, they're reforming. Open fire! Let's see what they can do. Let's see what these guard seamen can do. Stretching out their lines, trying to fire a much longer range here, wider range. Very good hits. They're focusing down this unit, even with the artillery. I think they're going to focus down a unit one at a time. These musketeers are down to 45 men. Their morale just... Oh, it spiked for a second. Oh, we got a charge. We've got a charge from the musketeers. They must be out of ammo. Let's see if the Swiss, the Swiss foot can hold. Oh, they're going to counter charge. Look at this. Wow. And I think the Swiss foot, just based on numbers, should be able to take it. I don't know. No, Francis. Uh, it's very close. Wow. Now the French are going in for a charge. Look at this. Polish Legion going in. Oh, no. Oh, I thought they broke. What are they doing? Oh, they break. They've got to fall back. The French have to fall back. The Swiss are now charging in. He must be out of ammo. To charge him in like that is pretty reckless. Um, yeah, they're reforming over here. The rest of the French lines coming around. But look at this. We've got a general coming around. The general staff of Great Britain uh, looking potentially. Oh, the artillery's going for him. Oh, gets a hit on him. What are they going for? Are they actually going to try to charge this artillery? We have the French general protecting the artillery. We have eight men from the French general and six men from the British general. They're just walking over the fields of dead troops that they commanded. You did this, generals. And the French are looking weaker and weaker as this battle goes on. They, they're they running out of line infantry. And I just don't think they have enough to defeat the Prussian lines. Oh, the general was... The general has broken... The artillery, it's really up to this French artillery if they can land some good hits. And just look at the battlefield, man. Just craters everywhere. Oof. So, yeah, very, very intense fight. I don't think the French are going to be able to recover from this, though. Yeah, the lines are wavering very quickly as the Prussians just have overwhelming numbers. And they go in for another charge. They break. Now it's down to the guard seamen. The guard seamen. Hold the line. Yeah, as soon as the guard seamen break, it's over. I think it's quite... Well, the balance of power is still even. Again, I don't know if that's a glitch or what. I mean, I guess they have to charge the artillery, which is going to be a bit of a challenge because of the canister shot. Oof. Good volley there, killing many of them. There we go. They are breaking from the field of battle. And now it's just down to the artillery. And I think it's safe to say we're just going to fast forward as they have to march all the way to that artillery. I mean, it's not impossible that the Lion Infantry break on their way to this artillery. I just think it's unlikely. Um, again, they got to deal with the canister shot. Um, I, I, I'm sure they're just going to outmaneuver them as there's three units of them. But yeah, there they go. Moving around the flank. Oh, there's some breakage here. Oh, uh, maybe, maybe. They might just... Oh, the canister shot going in. General charging in. This would be insane if the French win this by artillery. That would be hilariously insane. 
Oh, the general going in for a charge. Come on, artillery, fire. Oh, I think they're past their range. I don't know if... Yeah, yeah, that's over. And surely the artillery is going to break. They try to get as many kills as possible, but unfortunately, it's not going to be enough. And this is going to be the end. They might as well just charge in. There they go. There they go. And that's going to be the end of this glorious battle. A gruesome battle. A battle to the end. Um, very close fight. Just carnage everywhere. There was so much fighting all around this battlefield. And I believe this was sent in by Scary77. If not, I do apologize. Um, it was one of these guys over here. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Um, but really good kills here from everyone, honestly. Everybody carried their weight. Um, I guess Joke only got 800, but it was a tough fight. It was an uphill, literally an uphill battle for all of the French troops. So, really, really, really awesome battle, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one as much as I did. It's good to be back playing Napoleon Total War. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time on the battlefield.